Hello! So, hi. This is one of those videos where I'm just kind of going to talk about a couple of things that I've been thinking about and how I think things are going and such, but it does have a main sort of gist, which is about this area here, this place here. Rune. Um, but first of all, a little background on this little video. Um, two days ago, I finished rewriting The Boy. And before that, for a good couple of weeks, I was working on that, sort of semi-regularly. Um, so I was, I was, I wouldn't say intense, but you know, I was, I was um, doing stuff for, for quite a while. Um, we had to do with like, you know, writing and, and, and that. When I, when I got up and work and everything, I was, I, was, I was dedicating time to it quite a lot. Which I hadn't done in a while, and it felt quite good. And one of the things I've done in the past, which has always been a mistake, is to finish a major project and then take some time off. And be like, no, you know, I'm 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 done for a bit. It's it's then, you know, when I don't return for three months, and then think, yeah, I should get back into it. Uh, I I lose the flow of stuff, you know. So I took last night off, Monday night. Oops, uh, because I think I'd earned it. And uh, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to get back into stuff now. I know it's only been a night, one night, but um, my next project is to write a tale called Darkness Dawns. So Darkness Dawns is almost finished, really. It won't take much at all to get it done, but I'm not too much in a writing phase right now. I'm more of in sort of an ideas mulling over kind of phase. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm making this video, to talk through some of the things that have been going on in my head. Um, I suppose it's to, 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 to do with Rune here. I was, out of all of this, all of this place here, I was least happy with this, with Rue, because um, I, I feel that everything else has something is sort of like keyed around the world, the, the post-apocalyptic post sort of like feel of, of the world that I'm trying to create. So everything's broken and fractured and fragmented and, you know, it's it's all a bit chaotic and everything. Um, but the thing is with Rune is, Rune is basically the Empire from the now defunct Warhammer universe that Games Workshop, flight tangent coming, has decided to completely just end because it wasn't making them enough money. Uh, heaven forbid they should, you know, support it a little bit and release some, you know, new stuff for it. But, uh, yes, anyway, so they've, they've decided to end Warhammer, despite Warhammer Total War coming out. Um, I wasn't really a big player of Warhammer, by the way, at least not, last, not for about ten years, but it's still... Kind of really annoys me. <laughs> but anyway, this is basically the Empire. Uh, you've got the capital in the middle, middle Ishion, and uh, all these places dotted around are where sort of counts rule, and they're all subservient and have to go to Ishion to, you know, every year and everything. And I never really liked that, but I never changed it either because I couldn't think of anything to, you know really replace that with and it wasn't really a major gripe of mine well, along with everything else um, but now that I've sorted a lot of these places out in my head what they're like the, the problem with rune sort of like grew it's it's priority upped in my head and um, the solution was quite obvious really and it, it came apart mostly due to um, a person called well, uh, with a username called Neo or Neo, n -n -n. but <laughs> I cannot pronounce. But they've been doing a lot of art for me right now. In fact, I can minimize this and uh, go and show you some of this said art, like this. Um, that they have done for me. Excellent stuff. Really brilliant. Really, just truly amazing. Um, and. Um, just of various places and things across IOC, which I haven't put on the site yet, but that is why it is on my desktop because it has the, uh, you know, it will, uh, it's got priority. Um, one of the things that the Neo wanted to do was to create um, heraldry for. Where's the map gone? Hmm. I have to open it again. Uh, oh, there, there, I don't Anyway. For, for, for all these different areas like Braithor and Bastion and Karis, the wanted to he wanted to uh, create heraldry for everything, 
And uh, yeah, this was the start. This was the uh, thing they came up with, and I gave him a bit of feedback back on that. So this is just uh, concept R, if you like, for Brathior, I think it was, um, which is also this place. Um, and in doing so, in, in even writing the email, uh, replying to to this ad that he sent me, the 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 answer just just came to me about this place here and what to do with it. Um, the Rune that I have written about on, on the website here. Um, here it is. The homeland of the humans. Rune is a major place of trade and military power. It is the largest realms of men and the most prosperous. The shining city Ishian sits at its heart and is the seat of the throne of the noble queen Tarsis. And I've written quite a lot on Rune. There is quite a lot of stuff on it. But it came to me that this powerful military if you like, America, of <laughs> Iosia. Um, what I'm writing about here is maybe Rune at its peak, but not Rune as it is now in modern-day Iosia. It came, apart, it came um, about when, first of all, a bunch of gilth from Nethica invaded this way. And uh, at that time, everyone was in scattered tribes and such, and not really very well developed. Um, or at least some of them were, and some of them weren't. But uh, yeah, they were all spurt all in their little tribes, and didn't really talk to each other, and probably had little skirmishes and everything, but, but really pretty primitive sort of place. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the gilth, for whatever reason, and that, you know, they, they were quite a sporadic random race out of the gilth, so they will just do things absolutely at random because they're, they're crazy, they are a bit mad. They attacked uh, at Bleak Point. It wasn't Bleak Point then, but it, but it became Bleak Point because of the attack. And sort of like cut a swathe deep into Rune. And it was at Brathior here that the humans banded together. Those from like here banded together and they stopped the attack. Um, but at the same time, down here, the Greel from Greer, they were watching. And they launched an invasion here at Gorn, more or less at the same time, slightly after. And they pushed up from the south, so all the people who were in this area were pushed north as well. So that basically forced everyone, long story short, to band together uh, under this guy called Brathia, um, who, uh, who emerged as sort of like the, the natural leader. And uh, he's... Um, Sort of like, you know, that's why it's called Brathion, because it's named after him. Um, and again, this is, this is very similar to sort of like Sigma thing in Warhammer, which is why I don't particularly like it, but I'm going to stick with it now because it's there, it's, it's in the history. Um, but uh, he is dead, there is no man-god, there is, it was, you know, that is, 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 is dead, that's it, done. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so then what happened is that the capital was formed here at Ishion. Um, and all these places were um, were formed sort of afterwards or during or, you know, because they were places before. But they, they, all these people had a very strong bond because of the victory that they had created, and thus they uh, formed a very prosperous land called Rune. But over time, it all fell to bits. Generations passed... The significance of the alliance slowly was eroded away. The memories of the invasion faded. And slowly but surely over the generations and over the centuries, um, it all fell apart. So that's what I think Rune is now. It's kind of a, a warlike kind of area where there is some... Uh, sort of like a talking, I don't know, a diplomacy between these areas, these factions, I suppose, if you want to call them like that. Um, they, they you know some of the, sometimes they meet peace, sometimes there's peace across the entire country, and sometimes they have minor skirmishes and everything, and sometimes there uh, there is out white right right war between one or more of them. Um, and so that's what I think Rune is now. Um, it's it's a fractured sort of place where alliances are made and broken uh, at the drop of the hat, really. Um, 
as people vie for the crown, I suppose, which is still an issue. And there is still going to be a queen, uh, or, or at least royal family. Um, and, you know, some like, you know, maybe Ishin and Braithor, and, you know, other areas. I mean, these four, I think, will stick together, banding the others, like, because these are on the outside. Um, so these, this might be the, the, the strong sort of area in the middle. Keep holding everything tentatively, tentatively together. Um, but what I'm thinking basically here is a sort of like Mountain Blade sort of um, scenario. If you played Mountain Blade, it's a very good indie game um, in which you play a character who eventually create, you know, forms a small band and then a bigger band and eventually you command armies. But you do it in first or third person on the battlefield. You fight on the battlefield as well. And you can make alliances with lords, you can fight for them, do different missions, you can uh, try and usurp kings and everything, try and make your own faction, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, oh yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking, um, to do with Rune. And I thought I'd get this video out to at least do something, put something out there after, you know, re rewriting the boy. Um... So I've, I've I've got something to sort of like go on and you know think about. Um, so now there's that. It is different from Magador because Magador you could think is slightly similar to Rune, as in Magador is a very broken area full of you know different warring city states and stuff. But I think the difference is Magador is really freaking broken, and I might break it even more in future writings um i'm thinking about having you know more cities on it um more themed like one you know full of thieves and such where people just don't go and sort of like the equivalent of glut and glow in fact i might i might move this glut and glow over to in here somewhere um maybe keep the name because i do like glut and glow but you know have it have it somewhere like down here or something maybe moves down a bit further north um but uh, but yes, um, so that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, this is really, really broken. I mean, there's complete areas of lawlessness between the cities, and the cities are ruled um, by usurpers who, you know, either by, you know, buying their way to the top or, or assassination or anything like that. Um, you know, they, they get to the top of, 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 you know, and they rule that city for as long as they're able to, and then someone else comes along. Whereas it's much more structured in rune whereas these barons you know uh are the rulers it's not really challenged that they are it's just the you know the fact that who they want to ally themselves with to gain more power if you like so this is it's much more feudal if you like where this is far more chaotic down here um all right then so i've made this little video on rune hope you enjoyed it but my thoughts uh when i'm gonna do this i'm not entirely sure because I've got to, you know, write Darkness Dawns. And then the next thing on my list, the list, is to do an IRPG game uh, with peeps before November. And in November, I want to start NaNoWriMo and do something with that. But I'm, I'm keeping that, you know, way back. But um, these are, you know, future things that will be happening to Iosia as it uh, develops and changes and ho hopefully improves. Because I am trying to create a world that's uh, not entirely unique I will admit I still have the you know demons down here it's it's not all um, you know without some sort of like generic foundation if you like but uh, I do like how it's forming its own sort of way and ideas are developing beyond what I originally thought especially with with rune um, you know Owen's been coming much much more insular and because uh, everything's fine in Aon, but in Aon they don't like strangers, and they're really, you know, we're talking almost like Nazi Germany, sort of like you know, um, your duty is to Aon, you know, before it is to your father, sort of thing, and everything. Um, really, really sort of like militaristic and, and just uh, yeah, disciplined, but uh, or, you know, excessively so. But the price for that is that, you know, they, 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 you know, the consequence is that it's very peaceful and all very good in here. But if you misbehave um, or something doesn't fit, then you get punished. Um, so, yes, there's all that. Anyway, um, I've babbled only enough. Um, hope you enjoyed that little uh, 
insight in, in my head of stuff that is going on. And I shall hopefully see you soon. Alright then. Um, next update for me should hopefully be in a couple of weeks where I announce that the first draft of Darkness Dawns is done. Um, but I'll explain more about that in that video. So, uh, yeah. Until then, thanks very much and toodaloo.